Hello, everybody, and welcome into another edition of Inside Cornerstone here in Alexander City, Alabama. I'm joined by Pastor Billy Coleman, as always. Coach, good to see you. Good to see you, Brett. I'm excited, and I'm ready to go today. Man, we got a lot going on. Yes, sir. Uh, again, this show is uh, our weekly look at everything going on at Cornerstone First Global Methodist Church here in Alexander City, and uh, we, we're glad that you join us each and every week. Uh, we try to catch you up on everything that's happening. We got a bunch going on. It's summertime. <laughs> uh, Vacation Bible School is underway this week. Uh, this, as we're coming to you today, it will be in day two. Uh, so uh, we had Glenda on last week to talk about it and the camps. And uh, we're going to have uh, Jimmy Yates on a little bit later by phone to talk about Project 412. Uh, he was going to be here today, but. Jimmy's a busy man, and uh, just like all, a lot of us are, sure. that out there with all kind of things going on and uh, <clears throat> heading that heading that project up and looking to expand off of what happened last year and uh, exciting exciting things coming uh, with that project that'll be going on next week, next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday morning. So we'll talk about that <clears throat> and uh, we'll recap our services from this past Sunday and. By the time we get through all that, Coach, uh, it doesn't take long for the hour to go by, but we're, it, we're glad to be here. It is awfully busy. And, you know, Jimmy's got some guests coming this year. He really does. It will make it a little unique, maybe right. from the past years. And uh, Bible school, off to a great start. And, you know, the support for those kids. And I think, we, Brett, I think we had close to 80 kids there. It's nice. And about 40 <clears throat> people that were assisting and helping with it. Okay. And, you know, Brett, this is worth saying. A lot of them were our teenagers in our youth group. Right. They came and supported the children. I don't care what anybody says. That's unique. When they, unique. when the teenage kids have just got out of school, and they're going to come up there and work the Bible school, that <clears throat> that's that's impressive. Yeah, I know my daughter and her friends. Uh, you know, again, it just shows the connectivity between our children's ministry and our youth. It's not that. When you when you progress and you go through confirmation, you go to the next level. It's not like you go, well, I'm done with that. I'm, mm -hmm. you know, they got to find somebody else. They want to go back and help. They want to come. That's we see our college kids come home and, that support, is and, and support our graduates. Yeah, you know, right. this year um, and you know, Cooper and Riley were our two this year up there. And I know the young man that's going in the military was in the Ethan. Uh, Ethan uh, was in the uh, the other service as well, but. Right. You know, but to have all of those college kids and was a bu bunch of them, you know, in all different age groups from seniors all the way down to freshmen in college, they came back to say, look, we remember how special this was for us. Uh, we want to make it special for you. And <clears throat> David said that those college kids contacted him and said, you know, when we get up here and stand behind the confirmation class, when, <laughs> you know, why can't we do that for the graduates that are moving on to college? And, man, it – you know, again, that was initiated by them. This was not somebody asking them to come back and do that. That was generated by, hey, they called the leaders and the, and the people that are in charge and said, hey, why can't we do this? That That's encouraging. There's there's a lot of things in this world to get discouraged about. You and I have been discouraged this afternoon. Uh, you're you're about, about going to beat me to my uh, comments. About, <laughs> about football and the state of, of college football and the way things are going with it, and, and then now it's drifting down into high school, and, you know, everything's just based around money. I mean, we, we all want kids. And the Bible it, comes it, true again. It, it does. <laughs> it, it does. And, and again, there's nothing wrong. We, we all are pro-capitalism. Capital, we sure, want that's, opportunities that's right. for people, but when you, when you basically say this is what it's all about, this is the only thing it's about, uh, then you lose focus on the things that are important, you know, life lessons, the the character building, the the career building aspect. Because <clears throat> that nil stuff's gonna be gone one day yeah. for everybody. Uh, so what have you done? What have you prepared yourself for after those days? But anyway, I don't want to go down that that rabbit hole. But again, it's encouraging to see. Oh, our youth and our, and our college kids come back and want to want yeah. to support. So. And I was part of the gripe session before this show, and I, I caused it. I, I, I was probably <laughs> the most outspoken one of the whole group. But but then I turn around and I think about what you were just talking about. I was in a board meeting 
it's been a week ago. It was the most positive meeting I've ever been in, and that goes for a lot of good meetings and stuff. But I listened to Glenda talk about all the children that are involved in our children's program. It was so positive. I listened to David Simpkins talking about our music program. And I, we don't have to go into that. You know what I'm talking oh, about. Absolutely. It's fantastic. <clears throat> And then I turn around and David Han is talking about taking 67 kids to their big uh, retreat, Disco discovery. discovery weekend. And today I sat in a staff meeting and David Han, you know, he's been around for a while. He's not as old as I am now, <laughs> but he's been around. You know what he said? What did he say? He said he thinks right now, today, we have the largest number of youth we've ever had in our youth program. Numbers is not everything, and those same kids are standing behind our graduates right. and serving our children at Bible school. It's the kind of youth program that's not about numbers. It's about serving Christ. It and is. Man, that's so positive. How can we possibly gripe about anything? You can't. I mean, no. You know, they're, no. They're, again, not if we're over. Well, well, we well, let, we let, me, let me take this, spin. <laughs> yeah. It's easy to wake up every morning and dwell on negative stuff sure. and why this didn't happen. Or Turn why on the TV. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it just is a natural progression. Yeah. I think in this world to, to find the negative in things, it whereas is. you can, as we just showed, find just as many good things, good you know, stuff. and again, in the news industry and in the media negativity, unfortunately, negativity sells people gravitate. True. So, and I remember learning this in one of my media classes at Auburn. Mm. The reason the news has all the negative headlines and all the bad stuff at the front mm -hmm. is because that's what people, unfortunately, most of the time, gravitate to. Always the last story on the on the news it's is the, the is, well. <laughs> no, the last story on it's the, the news stuff. is yeah. always the feel good story. Yeah, they, they right. go, I'll, I'll, you know, if you watch I got news, it. they'll end with, "Hey, huh. we'll leave you tonight with this this, this great thing." That, but it, how what would it be like if they started the news off with that versus ending it because you spent twenty seven minutes of the thirty of the newscast on nothing but. Terrible junk, stuff. And terrible stuff. So, but but it just shows you that we can be the difference. We can choose which way we want to lean. Definitely. Do we want to look at a, I, the old adage of looking at the cup half empty or half full? Mm -hmm. It's the same, right? If, right. It, if it's halfway, a positive mindset person is going to see it half full. The the negative mindset person's going to look at it so it's only halfway yeah you know so it's all about your perspective and how you approach positive things. attitude <clears throat> changes everything uh there's nothing more important i pray for it every day i wish i could exemplify that prayer but uh sometimes i don't but that that is you know, my prayer to let's be positive about everything you're 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 big in the fca <clears throat> and i want to kind of since we're talking about this we brought this up i want to i want to take another angle with all of this change going on with our young people, men, boys, and girls, and everything so monetarily driven, the the where where is the the faith and the how, how do you navigate those waters? I think of Chet down at Auburn, and you know he's been at Auburn as the team chaplain for a long time, and how how does he navigate? And, and make them understand that it's just not all about what's what they're putting in their wallet or what they're putting in their back pocket or the type of car they're buying or you know how how many watches they can own or how many designer clothes they can buy with their NIL money. I mean, making them see that yes, this is great that they're getting compensated, but to keep their eyes on God, to keep to stay grounded. To, to be thankful for the ability that got them there. I, to me, I think his job is as challenging as the coaches that coach the sports now. Oh, definitely. I, I would agree with that. I would also say <clears throat> that 
the Christian life has never resembled the worldly life. And there are plenty of people that made a, a zillion dollars right. who were unbelievably unhappy, committed suicide, turned to drugs, had 15 different divorce proceedings to go through, and uh, maybe even killed their wife. You, you, talk, you, talked you, know, about, yeah, you talked about that Sunday. Yeah, you know. it's always been that way. But I just take great obje objection to it being pushed on these young people it's not their fault it's not the no, they're kids. just taking advantage we're of what pushing that on them. it is well i said that on my sports show uh just a few minutes ago before right. the show uh it, it is the it is the system that the adults create no doubt and they're no they're doubt. not the one to blame they're just taking no advantage doubt. of it and they're going to find out brett i'll tell you, I, I, i'll stick by this they're going to find out sooner or later just like we do that it's not about wealth. It's not about the accumulation of wealth. The things that Christ brings to the table are spiritual and internal. And even in Jesus's day, right. they, the same thing is true. That's not going to ever change. So I, getting back to SCA, there's a great opportunity for SCA to point that out. And there's still some great kids out no, there. It, and yeah. they're not coming just for the money. That's right. Some of That's them right. aren't. They're coming. Hey, we've got a project where we've got some Auburn football players coming to work. Yes. You know what? And we'll talk That's about right. that in the next segment when we get Jimmy Yates on with us. So, I mean, look, they, there are a lot of great things going Definitely. on. Definitely. So. All right, we're up against our first break. Stay tuned. More to come right after this. Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with the service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. The good guys at Alex City Marine are ready for your boating needs all summer. And now you can get up to $4,500 in rebates on our huge selection of new Landau Tritunes and sacrifice pricing on remaining 23 models. Alex City Marine also has a new fleet of rental boats for fabulous days on the water. Whether it's service, new pontoon selections, or rental boats, see the pros the locals know. Alex City Marine on Cherokee Road in Alexander City or online at alexcitymarine.com. Medicine Express Family Pharmacy, located conveniently at the corner of Airport Drive and Highway 280 in Alexander City, offers friendly service, convenient drive through service, and can answer any questions on prescriptions and vitamins. Local family owned with 30 plus years of pharmacy experience, they also offer compounding services, which includes personalized hormone replacement, therapies, and pain gels and they accept most insurance and discount cards. Go see them today at Medicine Express Family Pharmacy. Amanda Scroggins with Remax Around the Lake will cover every inch of Lake Martin's 880 miles of shoreline to find your family's dream home. Amanda's experience is top notch and she is consistently a top 10 Remax agent in the state of Alabama. Her love for her clients is sincere and from the heart. Call her today at 256 749-6634 or visit her website amandascroggins.com today. Hey everybody, I'm Brett. Billy. And I'm Matt. And we want you to join us each week for Inside Cornerstone. Coach, Matt, excited to have this show on every single day throughout the week leading up to Sunday. Jesus Christ is going to be glorified in everything we do. You won't just be listening to messages. You're going to be hearing about things going on in our church. And make sure you join us at our worship services, 9 and 11 o'clock. Join us each week right here on Inside Cornerstone on WAXC-TV. As your State Farm team, we will be there for you with the financial strength to deliver on our promises. Service, that's a sure thing. You can think of us as your good neighbors who help protect what's important to you. We're here when you need us the most. You can call us 24-7 to get answers to your questions, file a claim, or see if we can find you more ways to save. We have many coverages and many discounts. We can help protect more areas of your life and find every discount you qualify for along the way. Please call us or visit 2048 Cherokee Road for coverage you can count on. 
For 30 years, Derek Blythe has built a reputation in the Alexander City area as the family attorney. He's always been passionate about fighting for his clients because he believes everyone deserves an advocate in their corner. People of his community deserve to have someone in their corner to fight for them. And he loves making lasting relationships with those people and their family. Whether you're seeking child custody, divorce, visitation, looking for compensation after being injured in a car accident, probating an estate, dealing with a contractual dispute, fighting criminal charges, Eric Blythe is here for for you. Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with the service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. Welcome back, everyone, to Inside Cornerstone. I want to remind everybody to, that's watching, uh, look on the bottom of the screen. You can keep up with us there at cornerstone-fgmc.org. Uh, all things Cornerstone, First Global Methodist Church, right there. You can follow us on Facebook. You can uh, go back and watch our sermons from the past uh, there. Just a lot of ways to keep up with everything going on. Speaking of, speaking of keeping up, Coach, uh, we've got our good friend Jimmy Yates on the phone with us. Uh, Busy, busy man, uh, and uh, his brainchild of, of Project 412. Uh, Jimmy, good to have you on the phone here uh, this afternoon. Uh, we're looking forward to an exciting time here next week. Yeah, so am I, Brett, and I appreciate y'all uh, letting me letting me talk this in this fashion. Uh, but we're we're excited about the the prospects of what God's got planned uh, uh, the week of. Uh, June the third, the end of the week of June thirteenth, fourteenth, and fifteenth, uh, we'll be we'll be working throughout the community again, doing doing various things, uh, some home repair. Uh, where it looks like from the applications we've already gotten, uh, wheelchair ramps, porches, hmm. replacing some doors and windows, and and a lot of yard work for the kids to do. But it's you know it's it's been a it's been a great great event for the last two years. The, the kids have really come out. We've been very fortunate to have the the athletic department at the high school participate with us and and bring kids over and and <clears> let them work for a couple of days and and sharing and giving back to their community. You know, Jimmy, um, <clears throat> kind of talk about. I want to go back to the, the the beginning of this program a couple of years ago. Just tell everybody where this came from and and how this got started. Uh, we're we're going to talk a lot about what we're going to be doing next week and, and the people that are going to be involved and the rest of the community that's going to be involved. But I want to go back to the roots of this for somebody that might be tuning in that has no idea what we're talking about. Where did this, where was this born? Well, we, you know, for, for the people from our church that, that do remember, you know, our, our youth group has historically taken, taken a week of the summer and <clears> gone <throat> to Appalachia and, and done home repair and whatever that whatever we uh, were asked to do to assist the people in need there, and we just got to a point where you know there's just as much need around town, and we we had an idea uh, to try to make it bigger than just our youth group. We had an idea of uh, asking the the athletic department at the high school. To see if they would not be interested in in allowing their their kids to to participate and come over and you know there's so many good things that happen when when kids come together and and, and work hard and are willing to work hard and and it was just a, an idea that we threw out there and, and uh, coach brooks uh kind of liked the idea and the, the football team and the basketball team and we've got we've been able you know last year we last year we had 170 kids come out and and participate over the two day two and a half day period and and we were able to to work on 11 12 different projects we've got we've got many more applications this year uh but we'll uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit but you know just just the coaches i think they see the benefit of it from a lot of different ways uh it, it's a bonding experience for their teams uh it's a it's an opportunity for the kids to get exposed to what the true meaning of serving is is about uh, an opportunity to for them to understand that you can still go out and have fun while you're doing something good for somebody else 
and asking for nothing in return. And it was just, uh, you know, it's been, it's been, a, we've had, actually had roughly 170 kids for two years now, uh, each, each year come out and, and participate. And, uh, we look, we look forward to having hopefully about that many again this year. Uh, Jimmy, tell us how, how does the process work? We've talked a little bit about, uh, the people making applications that need help. <clears throat> But we also know that you have a process that you go through. You have to have, obviously, some adult supervision in there somewhere. So how, how do you organize it? And once you organize it, what's the steps you take? Well, you know, the, the key, well, one of the keys is that uh, we, we have adult volunteers and, right. and adult volunteers that are capable of doing, doing the kind of, kind of jobs that we're talking about. And what we do we, when we receive the applications, and we've been very fortunate, uh, as, as in the past, the applications have come from a number of different areas. Uh, the Arise organization has supplied us with a number of applications. The Meals on Wheels organization has supplied us with a number of applications. And we have a group that will sit down together, and uh, we're in that process now of evaluating exactly what we might can do. Uh, because it is a, a short period of time, and there, you know, we're we're working when basically novice at trying to do the work with a with a couple of people that have some experience. We normally, uh, we, well, not normally, we'll always have uh, at least two adults on each team. Uh, you know, if it's uh, a male female type uh, separation on the teams, we'll have a male and a female out and in, in on, on the job site. <clears throat> we'll we'll go out and uh, we'll try to split these teams up into teams of 10 or 12 youth mm -hmm. uh some of the teams some of the smaller teams like the girls basketball and the girls softball and the girls uh soccer who have always participated you know they like their teams to stay together so they they, they may have that. more than 10 or 12 out there but it's yeah. be their full team but they consider it a wonderful bonding opportunity well, that's for, for their teams yeah. uh, but we'll we'll bring them out we'll we'll evaluate the applications uh, between now and the uh, the time of the of the event, and then we will uh, assign teams. Well, basically, we'll assign leaders first, and then we'll just plug the teams in, the youth in to the to the teams that we we think uh, you know they need to be on. We'll have them in several different directions. Uh, mm -hmm. It looks like construction is going to be about half the jobs this year, and uh, yard work will be about half the jobs. You know, speaking of team building. Um, Last year, I thought was outstanding. You reached out to uh, <clears throat> Auburn University, and a few football players came and shared their testimony. And um, I thought they did a really, really good job. Uh, yeah. This year, uh, not only are some of those guys coming back, there are going to be some additional players coming, but they're not coming to just talk to everybody. They're coming to help. They're coming to participate. They're coming to roll their sleeves up and – and, and, and work and, and help these people as well. And I thought that that was awesome to hear. Uh, Jimmy, uh, I'll let you name off the, the people that are coming. But uh, just a – and I know that in the SEC there's these service project opportunities uh, in every community that these players compete for and they want to win that award at the end of the year. And mm -hmm. they look at this as an opportunity to give back to the communities. And so they're going to come down Highway 280, 35 minutes and, and help here in Alexander City. I think that's awesome. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Luke, Luke Deal, who's a tight end on the, on the football team, uh, he was one of our speakers last year. And we, we've had an Auburn, Auburn athlete each year come speak to the kids. Uh, he did a great we, job. Uh, <clears throat> he did. Do he, did he did a great, a great job. job. Oh yeah, he's a, he's a he's just a, a great kid, and well, he's he's a, he's a young man now. He's not a kid, but when when he and I were discussing this year, I, I you know I, I kind of threw the idea out to him and said, hey, let's you think somebody will come work? <laughs> so yeah. he he took it and ran with it, and he's he's uh, gotten seven guys that are going to come. Uh, they're going to be here Friday afternoon to to work the entire afternoon. We're going to you know the plan would be to at least one of them on on a, on a team and let them go interact with the kids and and uh, work with them and uh, you know serve our community and and I was really surprised uh, Brett you were talking about the when I got the list 
I, you know, I, I didn't know if I know any of them, but you know, we're talking about, you know, the potential quarterback. Right. Orange coming. Uh, we've got uh, probably three potential uh, starting linebackers in Austin Keys and uh, uh, Eugene Asante. Eugene Asante. This worked. <clears throat> this yeah. word, yeah, that's the uh, same thing. <laughs> you know, we got, we got this, and we got Luke. So there's seven of them. The other two guys are cornerbacks, but they, uh, you know, they're they're not they're not. I mean, they're they're guys that we will see on the football. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I think from yeah. A, <clears throat> from an athlete standpoint, from a youth standpoint, you know, they're gonna they're gonna be interacting with them. They're gonna be right. working with them. They're gonna be influencing them because every one of these guys participate in the same Bible study at Auburn. Every one of them are part of the FCA in Auburn, and uh, you know they're 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 coming to to reach out to not only the, our community but to those kids. I, I think it. Uh, I'm really excited about that opportunity. Well, awesome that that they want to give back and want to participate. I think Austin Keys, Amon Lane Gainus, mm-hmm. Robert Woodyard, uh, some of the other ones that'll be there. I mean. Three guys that will be starting at linebacker for Auburn this year will be interacting. Like you said, Peyton mm-hmm. Thorne, the quarterback. Uh, you know, Luke Dill, who obviously is a extremely good leader of men, uh, has headed this up for you the last couple of years. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's the kind of person you want uh, the kids to be around. And they're in the FCA, Fellowship of Christian Athletes Bible Study. There you go. We talk about all the time is alive and well. You just ask a question about FCA. I did. And there's, did. Your, there's one of the answers. There's one of the answers yeah, right there. Right. <clears throat> well, and, you know, the, the way the days will work, if, if we've got time to go into that. Yeah, we got one. we got about a minute to go. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll gather at, 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 our, at, our, at the Arbor for breakfast every morning. We'll, we'll disperse to the job sites. Uh, we'll prepare lunch for them, and, and they'll have lunch at their job sites. Then we'll finish up at 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, come back for dinner, and uh, then have a worship service each night uh, on, on Thursday and Friday night. And uh, this year we'll have one of the worship services will be at, at Cornerstone, and one of the, uh, one of the worship services will be at, at Stone Ridge uh, Baptist Church. They... They wanted to be involved this year, so they're going to host one of the That's worship awesome. services. So, Good. really excited about them uh, <clears throat> playing a part in it this year. Yeah, you, you know the vision to be community wide, and that, there, there you go. You see this this project growing every year and getting bigger. So, uh, Jimmy, uh, we really appreciate you taking time out. Thanks, Jimmy. Looking forward to it. Uh, I'll see you Thursday night at the meeting at six. Good deal. I, I appreciate it, guys. Thanks, thanks for allowing me to, to do it this way on the telephone. Yeah, you, Say you, Jimmy. Appreciate you. Thanks, sir. Appreciate right, it so you, much. Uh, Jimmy Yates there uh, just does so much. Um, and, again, 20-plus uh, years of going to Appalachia and taking kids and serving, and he looked up one day and thought, you know, you don't have to drive seven to ten hours to go help a I community. I think he's right. We got plenty, obviously, in the mm-hmm. applications – just keep growing. So. You know, Brett, I know a project they might could be on next year. What's that? He, he talked about a rise. Right. Well, I may throw out a name called Ascend, <clears throat> which we'll yeah, talk about right. eventually. I'm could, not going to say nothing be, else. Yeah, that's right. But I like to turn <clears throat> about 20 kids loose in the Harris house and I, kind of see what happens. Could be nice. I think it happened. We've got a big meeting coming up this week <laughs> about a sin. So yeah. anyway, uh, we'll we'll take a break. We come back. More to come right after this. Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with the service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. The good guys at Alex City Marine are ready for your boating needs all summer. And now you can get up to $4,500 in rebates on our huge selection of new Landau Tritunes and sacrifice pricing on remaining 23 models. Alex City Marine also has a new fleet of rental boats for fabulous days on the water. Whether it's service, new pontoon selections, or rental boats, see the pros the locals know. Alex City Marine on Cherokee Road in Alexander City or online at alexcitymarine.com. 
As your State Farm team, we will be there for you with the financial strength to deliver on our promises. Service, that's a sure thing. You can think of us as your good neighbors who help protect what's important to you. We're here when you need us the most. You can call us 24-7 to get answers to your questions, file a claim, or see if we can find you more ways to save. We have many coverages and many discounts. We can help protect more areas of your life and find every discount you qualify for along the way. Please call us or visit 2048 Cherokee Road for coverage you can count on. Amanda Scroggins with Remax Around the Lake will cover every inch of Lake Martin's 880 miles of shoreline to find your family's dream home. Amanda's experience is top notch and she is consistently a top 10 Remax agent in the state of Alabama. Her love for her clients is sincere and from the heart. Call her today at 256 749 6634 or visit her website, amandascroggins.com, today. Medicine Express Family Pharmacy, located conveniently at the corner of Airport Drive and Highway 280 in Alexander City, offers friendly service, convenient drive through service, and can answer any questions on prescriptions and vitamins. Local family owned with 30 plus years of pharmacy experience, they also offer compounding services, which includes personalized hormone replacement, therapies, and pain gels, and they accept most insurance and discount cards. Go see them today at Medicine Express Family Pharmacy. Hi, this is Brian Weiss with Weiss Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with the service department second to none. Weiss Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Weiss Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. God can use a thief. The scripture, Luke 23, 39 through 43. One of the criminals who hung there hurled insults at Jesus. Aren't you the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other criminal rebuked him. Don't you fear God, he said, since you are under the same sentence. We are punished justly, for we are getting what our deeds deserve. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus answered him, Truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. May God add his richest blessing to the reading of his word. May everything that I say, everything we think, but to glorify Christ, let us pray. Amen and thank you. Something you've probably heard at least 50 times in the, in the past year is everything that is in the Bible has spiritual meaning. Everything. We, we are making a mistake if we leave anything out. God has His way of saying things to us through every situation that we can read about or think of. Now, the week prior to the resurrection is a major week in the church. And I, I hope that we showed that by having 7,000 services that week. We, we had services every day. It had services at noon, we had services at six, we had communion services, and I would get up and talk about things that happened that week, and they're all just beautiful things, they're all great. I mean, the upper room. The things Jesus said in the upper room are, are cherished by everybody. He, he talked about truth in that room to those 12, I guess, maybe 11 most of the time, disciples telling them their fate and, and what was awaiting them. We kind of get ticked off at Peter a little bit. You know, come on, man. All that good stuff, and now you're going to deny him three times? So, you know, we do little messages about that. You can't help but talk about Pontius Pilate and Caiaphas and all the quote-unquote bad guys of the story, Herod. Uh, and there's that 
there's, first off, uh, there's Palm Sunday, where Jesus enters to a, a, a crowd like one of our sporting events, where they think that this Messiah that's coming to town today is going to free them from the Romans. How about the cat of nine, tw- nine tails? Thir- Forty lashes kills a man. Jesus is hit 39 times with it. He's basically solid blood. You want to talk about the, the crowns pushed down on his head? We could. You want to talk about there at the cross where the only people there were one disciple, John, and several of the women that were there? We could talk about that. I even did a message the last, uh, I guess it was on the Good Friday service, where I talked about the seven things that Jesus said from the cross. All powerful things. I even, I even used a scripture that I just read about the one thing that Jesus said to the thief, uh, to his right. But I just think that what we just read about, I don't think we get some of that. And I'm going to try my best to, to tell you some things that, that entered my mind when I was thinking about this scene. You know, there's millions of cross. Let's see. Here's a cross. There's a cross. Here's a cross. There's a cross. None of those pictures depict the truth, though. Because... Jesus is hanging on a cross with two thieves on either side of him. That's the real picture. We need to talk about that and what does that mean. So, well, number one is Jesus did not come for those that had kept the law. Right? Well, you can't have two better than that than a couple of thieves. They have, had not kept the law. And there's Jesus dying between two of those. There's, there's nobody on either side that has earned anything. Those two thieves represent us. If we try to come to Christ based on our deeds, then we deserve to be right there with them. It's appropriate that two uh, thieves are on each side of Jesus. There's something else we need to kind of talk about. I don't know why. Do we need to have a discussion here? Why do we call the guy on the right the good thief? Neither one were good, just like us. Neither one were good. We, We can be assured that the thief on the right was just as guilty as the thief on the left. You didn't get put on a cross for nothing. And there he was. I think we do it because he's the one that sort of had the softened, heart for Jesus. He's the one that said, will you remember me? It's it's like he came to grips with who he was and in his own way without using the statement I have sinned he, he did tell the other thief that we deserve what we're getting. I guess that's why. And the other thief that we call the bad thief, the one that's on the left He's the guy that kind of smarts off to Jesus a little bit. He's got a bad attitude. It appears that he's not going to change or anything. But there is Jesus between these two thieves dying for the sins of the world. Who else would be there? So you've you've got that story right there. Satan's off in the distance laughing. Saying, finally got him, you know, prowling like a lion, just like Jesus had said he would. You've got Caiaphas and uh, Annas, the, the, the former high priest, thinking that they had out-tricked everything, even God himself, by finally getting rid of this man that was calling them thieves. I forgot about that. Jesus called the religious leaders thieves, too. They should have been on either side, just like we should have. But there they are plotting. You've got his own mother there, thinking that this baby came into the world to die. You've got John there, 
who Jesus says, would you please take care of her? Peter's somewhere off in the distance, probably, watching from way off to see, is this really going to happen? Because surely nobody could take the life of the man that's done the things that we've seen. You've got all of that. What a setting that is. Jesus dying. That given moment for the sins of the world and on each side of him, prime examples of us. Dying for those who had not had brought no, had brought no works to the table. They probably never even thought about what Christ was all about. Think of all the people that's lived in the world that stood up in pulpits like this one and talked about the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus and think about the greatest moment in history. The moment that caused the church to be what it is, the forgiveness of our sins. And here were two thieves in that final picture. <laughs> First off, that's wild, okay? But then there's some conversation that we need to talk about. One of the things that Jesus said when he was dying on the cross is he looked down at the people in front of him. We're going to assume probably it was the, the Roman soldiers. And he says, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they're doing. Now, the Roman soldiers, they were hired assassins. There was nothing they would not do. I mean, Rome was all about power. And you could not get a sense of Roman power without the Roman soldiers. The Roman soldiers were special ops for the Marine Corps or something. I mean, those guys were vicious. And they're down there gambling for Jesus' cloak hurling all kind of obscenities, I'm, I, I would think, for sure. Making jokes about, there he is, king of the Jews, and save yourself, and all the things. They had spit on him as they were driving the nails into his hands and feet. And Jesus looks down from the cross between those two thieves and says, Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they're doing. Now, we're going to continue to call him the good thief, okay? Because that's what we do. Well, I can't believe that the good thief didn't say, did he just forgive them? They're worse than we are. And Jesus actually forgave them? Is, is that what I heard? He's, he's probably stunned that Jesus would say that to them and probably thinks about, you know, if he's going to forgive them, he might forgive me. But he doesn't say anything. Total silence. He's just amazed that Jesus would look down at those people who are just as vile and cruel as the ones on the cross and forgive them like that. Just don't understand it. Now, let's change it around just a little bit and go to the bad thief. The thief on the left, nobody likes him, you know, because he's kind of a smart aleck, right? What does he say to Jesus? <laughs> if you're the Christ, why don't you save us and you? That's what he says. That's his quote. If you, if you are the Christ, why don't you save yourself and us? Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with the service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. The good guys at Alex City Marine are ready for your boating needs all summer. And now you can get up to $4,500 in rebates on our huge selection of new Landau Tritunes. 
and sacrifice pricing on remaining 23 models. Alex City Marine also has a new fleet of rental boats for fabulous days on the water. Whether it's service, new pontoon selections, or rental boats, see the pros the locals know. Alex City Marine on Cherokee Road in Alexander City or online at alexcitymarine.com. As your State Farm team, we will be there for you with the financial strength to deliver on our promises. Service, that's a sure thing. You can think of us as your good neighbors who help protect what's important to you. We're here when you need us the most. You can call us 24-7 to get answers to your questions, file a claim, or see if we can find you more ways to save. We have many coverages and many discounts. We can help protect more areas of your life and find every discount you qualify for along the way. Please call us or visit 2048 Cherokee Road for coverage you can count on. Medicine Express Family Pharmacy, located conveniently at the corner of Airport Drive and Highway 280 in Alexander City, offers friendly service, convenient drive through service, and can answer any questions on prescriptions and vitamins. Local family owned with 30 plus years of pharmacy experience, they also offer compounding services which includes personalized hormone replacement, therapies, and pain gels, and they accept most insurance and discount cards. Go see them today at Medicine Express Family Pharmacy. Amanda Scroggins with Remax Around the Lake will cover every inch of Lake Martin's 880 miles of shoreline to find your family's dream home. Amanda's experience is top notch and she is consistently a top 10 Remax agent in the state of Alabama. Her love for her clients is sincere and from the heart. Call her today at 256 749 6634 or visit her website, amandascroggins.com, today. For 30 years, Derek Blythe has built a reputation in the Alexander City area as the family attorney. He's always been passionate about fighting for his clients because he believes everyone deserves an advocate in their corner. People of his community deserve to have someone in their corner to fight for them. And he loves making lasting relationships with those people and their family. Whether you're seeking child custody, divorce, visitation, looking for compensation after being injured in a car accident, probating an estate, dealing with a contractual dispute, fighting... Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with the service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. Welcome back, everyone. Final segment here on Inside Cornerstone. Had a uh, brief clip of you uh, in the service this past Sunday at Green Street, and uh, you delivered two different messages, um, you know, the one at the Arbor and versus the one at uh, Green Street. So we picked that, that one to talk about. Uh, in that particular segment we just watched, uh, you were talking about the two thieves mm. on either side of uh, uh, Jesus, uh, and, you know, on the crucifixion, you know, being crucified. Just kind of elaborate a little bit more on that. <clears throat> well, first thing I think we have to conclude is that everything that happens in the Bible has purpose. And we sometimes, uh, I think the beginning of that message was kind of <clears throat> showing that we kind of overlook that. We, we key on a lot of things on Holy Week. Uh, in great detail but we kind of pass over the thieves i mean we like the fact that today you'll be with me in paradise and that <clears throat> for somehow the thief to the right is the good thief so is there a good thief i guess there is uh i think we and then the one on the list the bad i guess thief. the more humble thief i guess yeah not, well <laughs> he did have a softness in his heart he uh understood his uh, where he was in life and that he wasn't worthy. Right. So, yeah, I mean, I, I get that. But something I bet no, my, some of that, I had a lot of comments. I mean, I've never thought of that before. Here's one of them. When the bad thief, we'll call him the bad thief, yeah. when he's over on the left and he looks over at Jesus and says, you say you're the Christ, I'm sure he said it with a few curses. Yeah, I'm sure there. he did, yeah. Then uh, save yourself and us. Yeah. And, and so... Do you realize what he just said? Say Jesus couldn't save us and him. He died to save us. That's right. He had to die for us. So his question <clears throat> is profound, and we probably don't think much about it. But 
uh, Jesus had a choice, and he chose to die so we could live. That's right. Well, and he died, died so that thief could live say, spiritually. Te- te- I mean. Technically, yeah. he was saving him by dying. Yes. That, Isn't that, that something? That, that is something I mean, when you think really about it. That is really good. You know, and, yeah. and I guess on the surface of him saying that to Jesus was, you know, Give me off the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the here and now. Right. Give, if, you, if you're so big and mighty, get us down. Yeah, I'm and, sure it had sarcasm written oh, all over it. Of course it, it did. And, well, it, and, and there was sarcasm and ridicule all the way through the, well, the end for Jesus. I mean, this they, is they mocked him and, and said, well, if you can I, do all this stuff, why don't you do it? Let's talk about this one for a minute. Here's another great one. I love this. Uh, so there, there's these two thieves on the other, each side of Jesus. And the people down there at the base of the cross were, I call them, they were assassins. The Roman guards were ruthless. They were as mean-spirited as you could possibly right. But they were used to killing babies. They, they go in there and kill all the two-year-olds. That, and under. Right. But there they sit. And what does Jesus say? Father, forgive them, for they, they don't, don't know what, what they, they do. do. And I'm saying, well, what about that good thief over there? He's saying, what? He's forgiving them? <laughs> They're exactly. worse than I am. Exactly. I mean, and, but don't you think that put in his mind and heart the possibility that, well, no, wait a minute. If he can forgive them, he might could forgive me. And my second question, Brett, and you can answer any way you want to, does the does the good thief at, tell Jesus, "Remember me when you come right. in"? If if the bad thief had not said what he said, right? He spurred that that, one that to say response. What he, he did. God and, and the whole world, the thing was the title of the sermon was, "If God can use a thief, yeah, God uses you know He uses anywhere anybody He, he wants to use." <laughs> you know, I think that you look at how he chose his disciples is where is the example. only place you need to start. Yeah. And he didn't go get elite, wealthy. Mm-hmm. Five stores. That he did. <laughs> you know, he, he got people that the masses could relate to. I think so. Uh, and, you know, some that were, you know, I would say lower class. Um, Hard workers. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, people that just everyday common people. And, that that's who he decided that's who he chose to associate with and um all of his parables you know if if you go through the bible and read like you said everything in the bible has purpose if and there's more than what you just read on the surface of a lot of these stories you just gave a great example about that thief and how you can dive into what he said and um that, that's why we encourage you to, if you haven't read the Bible, and I haven't read the Bible near the way I should read None the Bible. None of us have. But, but, again, it's the most famous book ever, and um, it's, it's the story of life. It's the story of how we, we are here in this present, and there's even a future written out in the Bible. Sure. And it, you can see the way things have been foretold by Christ, and, you know, he he said that the last thing you said this in the message in the arbor, the last thing he told, you know, his disciples were go make disciples mm-hmm. in the, in the world, you know, go out and go out and and I think Jimmy actually maybe said that during his speech talking about four twelve to the to the congregation, but that's the very one of the very last things Jesus says: go make disciples, mm-hmm. go spread the message, go do go All do right. go do this work and bring people to me and and that's what we're tasked with each and every day i like to respond to your, your that's a good statement about look who jesus chose yeah um can i use a coaching story absolutely well, why, why not well so i go to brewer they've lost 38 games in a row okay they play the toughest schedule in the state at that time it was the toughest by far it wasn't even close so now i, I get to i get to get a staff okay so i picked Five or six, I think it was five young guys. Two of them had never even coached, but mm. they had this heart for young people and stuff. Sure. So I got them, and I hope this doesn't sound egotistical. I don't mean it that way. I knew how I wanted it to be. And the only way that I thought I could get it 
exactly the way I wanted it from a discipline, offense, defense, work ethic, all of that, was to have young enough guys that they would buy in to what I was right. trying to bring, and they would do exactly what I asked them to do. I think Jesus may have gotten these people because – if they, he gets who he gets, then it's it's Jesus that provides everything. Peter is a great example. The guy, the guy ends up preaching. Thousands of people accept Christ. They, they give their whole self. Whatever Christ says, I'm on board with it. Right. And I think maybe that's why he chose him, because the leaders of that time would, would probably have you wanted know, to run their own place. Right. You know, you know and, and, and to go along with, I think that's a great story in comparison. Yeah. You know, and at the end, when Jesus is going through all the trials and tribulations, how every one of his disciples failed him. Yeah. You know, and, they, and 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 he forgave them and still claimed them. They were them. still his disciples. That's hope right. for all of us. Yes. I mean, he just says, look, man, the people I chose, the people that devoted their life right. to me, even in even in precarious times, right. had their issues and yeah. and were challenged and, and, and were weak. And I still came back to them and, and said, look, you're human, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's all, stuff. it's all going to be okay. So yeah. man, it gives you hope every day. Again, look for the positive in things. Not the and, and God and the prophets was the same thing. That's right. He chose people. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Saying we could go into this for hours. So this is unfortunately fun. we can't cause we're out of time. You gotta be kid out of time. time already, when did we so. start a two minute program? I mean, I, I mean, what? <laughs> Hey, my Auburn Blitz show went by that fast today, too. So Guess I what? I don't care about NIL anymore. That's right. This conversation helped pick me up. Thank that's you. That's it. We end on a positive note, right? Yeah. Well, that's going to wrap it up for Inside Cornerstone this week. We'll be back with you next week for another great edition. So we hope all of you have a great and wonderful rest of your week. We'll see you next time. Appreciate you listening. Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with the service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. For 30 years, Derek Blythe has built a reputation in the Alexander City area as the family attorney. He's always been passionate about fighting for his clients because he believes everyone deserves an advocate in their corner. People of his community deserve to have someone in their corner to fight for them. And he loves making lasting relationships with those people and their family. Whether you're seeking child custody, divorce, visitation, looking for compensation after being injured in a car accident, probating an estate, dealing with a contractual dispute, fighting criminal charges, Eric Blythe is here for you. For you. The good guys at Alex City Marine are ready for your boating needs all summer. And now you can get up to $4,500 in rebates on our huge selection of new Landau tri tunes and sacrifice pricing on remaining 23 models. Alex City Marine also has a new fleet of rental boats for fabulous days on the water. Whether it's service, new pontoon selections, or rental boats, see the pros the locals know. Alex City Marine on Cherokee Road in Alexander City or online at alexcitymarine.com. Medicine Express Family Pharmacy, located conveniently at the corner of Airport Drive and Highway 280 in Alexander City, offers friendly service, convenient drive through service, and can answer any questions on prescriptions and vitamins. Local family owned with 30 plus years of pharmacy experience, they also offer compounding services, which includes personalized hormone replacement, therapies, and pain gels and they accept most insurance and discount cards. Go see them today at Medicine Express Family Pharmacy. As your State Farm team, we will be there for you with the financial strength to deliver on our promises. Service, that's a sure thing. You can think of us as your good neighbors who help protect what's important to you. We're here when you need us the most. You can call us 24-7 to get answers to your questions, file a claim, or see if we can find you more ways to save. We have many coverages and many discounts. We can help protect more areas of your life and find every discount you qualify for along the way. Please call us or visit 2048 Cherokee Road for coverage you can count on. Amanda Scroggins with Remax Around the Lake will cover every inch of Lake Martin's 880 miles of shoreline to find your family's dream home. Amanda's experience is top notch and she is consistently a top 10 Remax agent in the state of Alabama. Her love for her clients is sincere and from the heart. Call her today at 
749-6634 or visit her website amandascroggins.com today.